we sort of believe at uh, Red Chocolate that when we look at how to deliver a great color service for our guests, these are the sort of essential steps. You know, we sort of I took the walk through the salon that a guest walks or a client walks, and just sort of what is it that it takes to create a fantastic hair color service for our guests? And there's nothing really on here that's radically different, but um, we can begin with, as an example, sort of greeting and welcome. And with my team, I sort of connect everything back to my team. You know, greeting and welcome is what we do with our guests every day, isn't it? But I think that, that, that sort of expression, greeting and welcome, there's far more than, good afternoon, how are you? I'm David, so nice to see you, and I'm going to be doing your hair color today. I, I think there's much more to greeting and welcome than that. It's also more about how we interact with each other. And we call it the four A's. We call it the four A's. Number one being aptitude. So with my team, attitude. Are you good at what you do? Yes? And I say to my team, are you good at what you do? Or why are you in the staff room and I hear you say, I hope I don't get a perm this afternoon, or I hope I don't get a relaxer today, or I hope I don't get a double process today. Because if there's something with my team that they're not sure about, then perhaps they need to go for a little bit more education, you know, to sort of learn a little bit more. Because there's always that one thing, you know, with me it was anything to do with scissors, which is probably why I became a hair colorist. But it was, you know, no scissors for me, but I love hair color. So, you know, if there's something that you're not particularly good at with my team, I say, well, maybe you need a bit more. So that's aptitude. Attitude is huge. Do you come to work, I say to my team, with a positive attitude every day? Or do they sort of, oh, go to work today? You know, and I love what Patrick said earlier about, you know, hey, we have to love what we do every day. We are probably one of the very few industries where we get up every day and we can make people look beautiful. And within reason, we can come to work today and say, I can also determine how much money I'm going to make today. And there's not many industries that can do that either. So how is the attitude? So, you know, with our staff, we say, how is your attitude towards your guests, towards your manager, towards your co-worker? Is it positive? Or are you sort of having a bad attitude day to day? And then we say accountability. I think that's a big one for hairdressers. Accountability. It's not my fault. No, 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 it's James's fault. No, it's somebody else's fault. Receptionist's fault. Client's fault. Manager's fault. Never my fault. I'm talking about my team here. <laughs> but, but I think sort of hairdressers around the world are all sort of pretty similar. We could admit that. So it's aptitude, attitude, accountability. And the biggest one for me is appearance, you know? I see my team on a Saturday when they're going out and they've got a hot day. They look fantastic. Hair done, makeup done, dresses, high heels, and that's just the boys. You should see how the girls look, right? <laughs> and, and I'm like, hey, you know, why don't you look like that on a Tuesday morning when you come to work instead of, you know, rolling out of bed, putting their hair up in a ponytail and no makeup? You know, so I think that appearance, that appearance is huge. Has anybody seen the Vidal Sassoon movie yet? Yes, I recommend it. It's on, uh, it's on cable now. I recommend it to everyone. It's fantastic. So I trained at Sassoon's. Right? Every morning at 8.15, morning inspection. You know, I love telling this to young hedges because so they just go, what? And we used to have to line up. We'd have black trousers, white shirts, and the manager would come and he'd look and he'd say, are your shoes shined? Are your trousers pressed? Is your shirt pressed? Show me your hands. Is your hair cut? Okay, you can go on the salon floor. Okay, and then if you're not ready, okay, go back and do something else. And we used to call it a knockback. If you didn't, if you weren't allowed, you got knocked back. With three knockbacks, guess what happened? You were fired. You were out. Yeah. Doesn't matter what a good hairdresser you were. If you didn't look the part, and there would be a big sign over the door as you went out onto the salon floor, and it said, "Smile, you're about to enter the stage." Because we were sort of taught that a salon floor was the stage upon which we work. And we were the actors on that stage. And when the guests came in, they were sort of the audience. You know, and what they paid to have their hair done, you know, they were coming in to see us. So out of respect, you know, we had to look the part. Do you dress for success? Do you look the part? And I, and I sort of think that's missing sometimes, you know, even from my team. And sometimes I go into salons and I think, is she a hairdresser or is she the cleaner? How is she looking today? You know, how's he looking today? So, you know, I think aptitude, attitude accountability and appearance. We call them the four A's.